What an amazing show so far, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep it rolling. Bell number five. of this contest, Kane Doherty. Firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Guru Ting at Melbourne Martial Arts. Official weight, 67 kilograms. He is the WBC state champion. An impressive fight record. 11 fights, 10 wins, three ending by knockout. Representing Melbourne, Alexi the Great Petrulia. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, trade at Alpha Muay Thai. Official weight, 67 kilograms. An ominous fight record, eight fights for seven wins. Representing Wellington in New Zealand, Hennady Our great friend John and Claudine Gaggiano at JPS Coatings for your comprehensive polystyrene cladding and rendering supplier. And a big welcome to Rebellion Muay Thai. Yeah, JPS Coatings, jpscoatings.com.au. It's good to see the guys at JPS getting behind a lot of the fight scene, you know. Yeah, flying all over the countryside, great supporters of Muay Thai. And I tell you what, this one's set to go Full tie rules, knees and elbows, five by two. Trained by Crew Ting out of Melbourne Martial Arts. 11 fights for 10 wins, the current WBC state champion. Taking on Hanari Redden, younger brother of Rexy Redden, up in Queensland, trained by Kevin Dick out of Alpha Muay Thai in New Zealand. Eight fights for seven wins. Got the late call up after Ash Powell. Man. Yeah, Ash Powell broke his hand, I think it was in training, about a week out. So Hanari's taking this one on short notice. And this is the younger brother of Rexy, you say? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. That's like about Rexy, all we know about him. Yeah. 18 years well, he's got a very age. impressive record, so uh, uh, hope to see good things out of him. Certainly, if he's coming from Rexy's stock, he should be pretty good. Red one. Yeah, the Reddens know what it's all about in centering, but Alexi Petrullius starts off really slow, then just explodes out of nowhere. I like the way Alexi fights, actually. I think he's a really sort of valuable addition to the Melbourne Muay Thai scene. Yeah, and uh, like Richard Fanous, uh, Alexi having a busy year as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We've really seen him mature. We've uh, had the privilege of being able to call most of his fights, uh, both Johnny and I, and uh, we've seen him come a long way, particularly in the last 12 months. Yeah, no, he's really good. He's got very nice kicks on him. Really turns into his kicks, very Thai style. Of course, crew ting in his corner, and also, too, he just performed a sensational run, boy. There in centering as well. He really eats, sleeps, and breathes more tight as Alexi Petrullius. Uh, take nothing away from the boys from New Zealand. We know they know how to bang from over there. So Panari taking this one on very short notice, about a week's notice. Nice uppercut there from Panari. Yeah, nice uppercut. So he's got a height and reach advantage over Alexi. Got a very nice guard actually. I mean the New Zealand guys do tend to come in with some pretty good boxing actually. They are known for their hands over there. Chatting to Rexy Redden and he said that uh, he's only had seven or eight fights, he said, but he's been been around the sport for a long, long time, knows his stuff. 18 years of age. Nice high round kick from Alexi. Oh, very nice, but it just sort of tucked underneath there. It was actually a, it was a great technique, but... Uh, no, he's not trying to walk forward as young Hanari. 
Missing elbow there from Alexi, just missing the mark. That's center Brown number one. Good first round for both boys. Good to see Hanari Redden in centre. Of course, we, we know we've seen Alexi Petrullius a lot. Just one set to carry on for another four rounds. <laughs> Five two minute rounds. Alexi just like stretching it out in between rounds. Get big thank you to JPS Coatings one three hundred five double seven two six two or jpscoatings.com.au. John and Claudine, huge supporters of the sport of Muay Thai. Very welcome addition here to Rebellion Three. Work by Alexi to just get himself out of that neutral corner. As Hanari was looking to box him in there. So we, we know Alexi traditionally he's, he starts slow, then he just explodes out of nowhere. Hanari's taking it to him right now. He really is. I'm really impressed with this young boy. He's really taking his time. He's picking his shots very well. He's got. He's so rangy as well, you know. Zach is just about to say, Tao. He's a little bit taller than uh, than Alexi, but he looks like he's got an extra meter on his uh, on his arms that, and legs. I would say that reach is quite long. I mean, looking at his arms, it does look quite long, and he likes to fire that one straight down the barrel. A very nice overhand elbow in there as well. Tail of the tape shows only about a four centimeter height difference, but I tell you what, it looks a lot more than that. As, as you said, guys, the reach. In the grapple. Yeah, Hanari trying to keep busy over there in the neutral corner. I'm liking this young kid. I reckon he's very good, very composed. He's got a great build for Muay Thai as well. Tall, rangy, lanky. Weight in it. 66.9 kilos. I, I, having a look at him, I reckon he could fly lower than that though, for sure. I reckon this young kid at 63.5 would be a killer. I'll tell you what, don't put it past Cy Nagy. If the kid puts on a good performance, which he's doing so far here tonight, he'll be back on Rebellion 4. And I'll tell you what, the likes of Mitchell, Seth, Roy, Wills. Crossing elbow there from uh, Alexi as well. Yeah, followed up from a very nice round kick as well. Good knee guard there from Alexi. Tell so you what, haven't seen someone take it to Alexi like this for a long time. Go straight away. That's in a round number two. Very busy second round. Good second round there to Hanari Redden. Tao, Alexis is really going to start stepping up in rounds three and four. Yeah. Round three. Here we go. We had a one and a half minute uh, break in between rounds there. <laughs> crew team. We're just taking his time getting out of centre ring. But I tell you what, looking forward to this one. Again, big thanks to JPS Coatings. Kane he has got his hands full in this one. The way Hanari too switching up into South Ball. So he's not backwards and coming forwards as young Hanari Red. Uh, but it's making some great room in there. He's really he's actually very skilled in the grapple, Hanari. Yeah, and Alexi really needs to get busier in the grapple. He does. He is a little bit slow on the uptake. I mean, he's very strong. He's keeping Hanari against the ropes, and, uh, and that will score for him a little bit. But you do have to. Uh, you do have to score some shots as well. Uh, we just got to move the swing seat out of the ring here a bit. It's poking in there a little bit. Big nice round, round kick. We've just un up, up, unearthed him a little there. Routine just calling on Alexi just to continually come forward. Check there too from Hanari. Hanari keeps going to that southpaw position, but uh, he doesn't seem to really be using anything from that southpaw stance. Could be indicative of maybe uh, that, that front leg's getting chopped a bit. We're seeing uh, Hanari now use that uh, teep right up into the chin of uh, Alexi as well. Good work. You can just see him settling there in the grapple on just the last minute, just a real quick turn out of the grapple from Hanari. Good low kick. Very nice combination of finish with a leg kick there. Not flustering Alexi though, he's, uh, he's, he's happy. Look, we know Alexi's got great cardio. We, we, we've seen him go five rounds before. He just keeps lifting the tempo, but that was a big third round there again for both boys. You've got to really be impressed with this young man at 18 years of age. Yeah, one of the fighting red brothers, I'll tell you what. Rexy, you, you young fellas are doing really well down here at the moment. Round number four. JPS Coding's penultimate round, round four of bout number five. 
Well, this is where we'd say they'd uh, pick up the action a little bit in the, in the tie round, but uh, I don't think you can pick up the action much more than they have. I'm just thinking that town, the boys have set a cracking pace. Said very impressed with the young 18 year old Hanari Redden. Yeah, really, he's got so much experience for that age. I mean, he's only like a, an up and comer, you know, with uh, eight fights, but again, like you were saying earlier, Bushy, I mean, they really do show their uh, skill very early on. The level is really lifting. Interesting here that we've seen Alexi initiate the clinch. Up to now, really, it's been uh, Hanari that's uh, wanted to tie him up and work the knees. There was a nice crossing elbow there from Hanari. Another crossing elbow. Just above our commentary position here in the blue corner. Oh, good work there from Hanari. You can see just turning at the grapple. Actually thought he was doing it, so came with breaking up, and he's followed up with a nice spinning back elbow. Yeah, good double up on the kicks from Alexi. Routine, he's calling out for Alexi to chop low. Alexi looking to reset himself and compose himself. Routine's calling for the left kick. 30 seconds remaining. There it goes. Oh, big looping left hand. Good work there from Hanaris. Alexi was coming forward. A nice big cheek. Yeah. Big smile on the face of Alexi. But I tell you what, that's good on the scorecards for Hanari. Yeah, Kevin Dick over there in the red corner just in encouraging uh, Hanari to keep going, to keep pushing forward. Beautiful knee there too from Hanari. I tell you what, this kid's really impressing us over here. He fights well beyond his experience in Absolutely, terms of how many yeah. bouts he's had. I'll give, you the, I'll, give you the, well. I'll give you the tip. We'll see this kid back here in Melbourne again. He's really impressing us. We've got Joe Nader here, centering as well. He'll be keeping an eye on him. But i tell you what, Cy Neji, sensational replacement yeah. at the last minute. He's not already ready. Fighters, Judge Clubs, this is the fifth and final round. It's the final round. John and Claudine from JPS Coatings. You're getting your money's worth on this one. Thanks for joining us here at Rebellion Muay Thai number three. Yeah, they're sitting ringside as usual, and I'm pretty sure they're enjoying tonight's fights. JPS going for all your comprehensive polystyrene, cladding, and rendering supplier. See what some of these fighters might need a bit of rendering. <laughs> After, as we see, uh, Hanari just starting to let go with the crossing elbows. That's right, a reflection of that last fight there. They're really bringing it home in round five. Good strong work there from Alexi in the grip. I've actually just got Hanari up on the cards at the moment. Yeah, I agree with you, Bushy. I really, I think that he's, uh, I think uh, Alexi's very sharp with his shots, but actually I've just got Hanari pushing the action a bit more and landing just a little bit more. Well, it's a very, very good turn from Alexi, though, and that'll score well for him. Yeah, good strong work in the grapple. Judges for this one, Dave Fox, Jojo and Matty Reid. So plenty of experience there judging under tie rules. Cruz Ching just calling out for Alexi to use the elbows. Yeah, look to make a little bit of room there and throw that crossing right elbow. Yeah, Alexi now really being the aggressor here in this uh, final round. Just reaching that elbow a little bit there, but he sets up on his left kick, he's doing well. Look at the setup off that left kick and then follow up with that right that right elbow. He's done it a couple of times. And it's Dying moments of this fifth and final round, probably brought to you by JPS Codings. And Ari Redden just said, he's loving it there in centre ring, but I tell you what, Alexi Petrullius, his work like really lifted in this fifth and final round. Oh, look, Alexi's trying to put the lights out on the Hanari, tempting the crossing elbow, but this is good work by the young New Zealand fighter. It is, it's a very back and forth this last round as well, so it's actually quite hard to score. Look like Hanari might be taking it ahead, and then, then Alexi comes back and he puts it ahead, so it's a hard one for sure. Looking for that spinning elbow again. And there there you go. go, knee right on the bell. Well, this one will go to the judges. What a sensational bout. Hanari Red, the young fella from New Zealand, 18 years of age. Hold your head high. We'll see this kid back in Melbourne. Don't you worry about that. And Alexi Petrullius always puts on a show. And please have a representative from JPS Coatings to centering. What an amazingly matched show, ladies and gentlemen. All these fights so close, so well matched. And once again, we go to the judges' scorecards. After five rounds, we have a split points decision. That's, that's not unreasonable either, guys. 
Judge number one scores the contest. 49-48 to the red corner. Your second judge scores the contest. 50-49 to the blue corner. A lot of draws in those rounds. Your Good third judges. judge scores this contest. 49-47, declaring your winner. Blue corner, Alexi. There you go. Alexi. A split points decision win to Alexi Petrullis. We were talking off mic. Weren't sure which way it would go, but I'll tell you what, a big win there to Alexi Petroulis, but full credit to Hanare Redden. Yeah, I really hope we see him back over here as well. Yeah, look, the young man taking the fight on short notice, he put up a fantastic display. Yeah, absolutely sensational win there, and a big thank you to John Gaggiano and Claudine Gaggiano from JPS Coatings. Great sponsors of the, the sport, but Alexi Petroulis, another win.